Real Madrid emerging for this crucial group game here, the tournament still in its relative infancy but it is already developing into quite a spectacle and that of course is what you expect from this, the greatest of all the tournaments. It has been terrific stuff so far so let us hope that the trend continues here and now. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. The Nets have gone 4-3-3. How do you interpret that? Yes, and the importance of this formation is not to allow the midfield three and the attacking three to become too detached from one another. If that happens, then pressure can quickly be applied via the counter-attack and you can be exposed defensively. So compactness can't be compromised. And you need talkers in this team. You need leaders and people that are willing to organise things very quickly. So we're up and running. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Isco. He's the one with the magic feet, Peter. He's the kind of player who can change a game with a single touch, unlocking a defence or, or creating space to get a shot away. I'm assuming that he's been tasked with being the creator-in-chief here, and you can see him picking out runners and, and setting up people in that final third. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. And it's Tete. Antonio. What an adventurous run from a defender. Modric. Casemiro tries to get it forward quickly. And it's Tete. Going for goal! Well, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. Well, there are a few pockets of space that are being exploited, and they need filling, and fast. Uh, let down by a lack of accuracy. Michael. Real Madrid still without an attempt on target. Antonio. Plays a clever pass. And he's cut it out. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Oh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target. He's had a look. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Going for goal! Casemiro puts his foot on the gas. Benzema. And here's Isco. 
Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Stepanenko. Antonio. And it's Conor Plianka. Triori. Out towards the flank. Nicely measured pass. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. There could be trouble here. But for now, the referee is keeping his cards in his pocket. Chip through. Stepanenko positions himself well and cuts it out. He's left his man. Cut out in the nick of time. Tete showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Some good play on the left-hand side now to profit from it. Plenty waiting in the middle. Can he deliver? Tries a shot! Tries to get it clear. Modric, he's gone for it! Over to the left, lobs it in gently. And it's Tete, he's got away. Oh, well played, he needed to get that right. More and he's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Modric, Carvajal, that's alert and sharp and very well played. Well, they could break here, he's got through, Traore, he's one on one, surely! An uncompromising challenge. There is the half-time whistle. So now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying. It's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. And we are up to the break. Real Madrid ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment, and that has to be maintained in the second half. Interesting half, just missing goals, so don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break, 0-0. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. 0-0 then, and we're back on the way. And it's Tete. Receives it from behind. A reprieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Played out to the right, back into the middle. Casemiro. Promising move that, good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. And here's Azar. And he's made sure that that won't get through. Michael. Triore. Tete. one way of trying to make things happen there's a few who could follow that example well, the balls come loose and the chase is on 
good challenge. He just stood firm. And here's Traore. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. Casemiro. 60 minutes played. Well into the second half, and still there's nothing between them. It's a brilliant interception. Real Madrid clearly aren't looking comfortable on the ball at the moment. Predictability has just crept into their play. And it's played forward. And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Konoplyanka really was well marshalled there because he was denied the opportunity to, to turn. Michael. Looks to clip it forward. Hoists it forward. Bale. It's come loose. Strong challenge, but well. Oh, real danger here. Chance! He scored! They'll kick themselves if that doesn't turn out to be the clincher. What a time to score. What about that, Jim Beglin? Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. When the manager called on him, he was only too happy to repay that faith. Well, the instruction from the manager would have been, go on and make yourself a nuisance and see if you can snatch a goal. Mission accomplished. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. Real Madrid get themselves into the lead. Yeah, I had a feeling this was coming. Still, there's a fair bit of time if you're going to think about defending it now. Forward it goes. And it's Bale. Oh, shooting chance! Oh, and that should have been two. Benzema was totally aware of how that chance could have impacted on the game, and that should have gone in. Gross battles to win it back. Hit long and direct. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Cross. Cross drives it forward. It is a corner. Good chance. Real Madrid are looking to make this one safe. They want to reduce the risk. Oh, that is asking for trouble. No, too much on it. 
This is good ball retention, and it should be enough from here, but they want to double their advantage. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And it's been taken straight back. Just five minutes remaining now. Almost there, and the players can feel it. Alaba. Tony Kroos. And the weighted pass. Bale. Oh, he's put too much on it. Petrinho. Fourth official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. And he's going long. He gets past his man. And he's there to cut it out. And there goes the final whistle. Real Madrid win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. Yeah, it was a, a fairly stern test with very 